Today we're going to be drawing Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star, as well as giving you my first reactions to it. No! Real quick guys, this video was brought to you by Sega's Fist of the North Star Legends Revive, available on iOS and Android. One of the cool things is that for most of you like me, who prior to the making of this video had never experienced Fist of the North Star in any way, you can actually play this mobile game and the story mode will take you from the start of the series to the end. Players can experience the original Fist of the North Star from Episode 1. And many of the famous scenes revive and are brought to life in high quality CG and comic type graphics. You can also create your own Fist of the North Star dream team, even characters that get nicked off. You can revive them and have them be part of your team while going through the story mode. And worry not for if you aren't used to playing games like these, don't worry about it. The game actually has one of its characters guide you through in a tutorial on how to play the game. Epic action at your fingertips, players can put together devastating combos by tapping at the right moment. The CG stuff, I'm not gonna lie, is top notch. So guys, if you want to check out this new cool game and support the channel, please use the link in the description. Now obviously, prior to the making of this video, I had never seen Fist of the North Star. I knew what it was, and I had seen clips, because part of it had gone viral. You have stuff like the meme that went viral. Uh, but one of the key things that always stood out to me anytime I saw clips or anything of that nature was just like the weird, gory nature of the series. <laughs> Mm. I knew it was vintage, I knew it was mature enough to be on the verge of being sanin, even though I think it ran in Shonen Jump. And then because of his status as being like a classic anime, I always had it in my list of anime to watch for like forever. I'm assuming it has to do with the fist of the North Star, whatever that means. We'll figure it out. All I know is he's a buff dude and people get smoked. That's it. According to Wiki, Fish of the North Star is a Japanese manga series written by Baronson and illustrated by Tetsuo Hara. And then it went on to run in Weekly Shonen Jump from 1983 to 1988. The setting is post-apocalyptic after a nuclear war. The lead character Kenshiro is this warrior that is the successor of a deadly martial arts known as Fist of the North Star where Kentro has the ability to touch or hit vital secret pressure points that often result in exceptionally violent and gory deaths, usually like after a couple seconds have passed by. And most times the opponents wouldn't know, especially if they're not skilled in it at all, hence the whole I also watched the animated movie, which gives off more information than just watching the first episode of the TV series. For example, you get to see how he gets the wounds on his chest that are also kind of like the symbol for the Fist of the North Star. Oh, so this is how he got it. Yeah. Overall, I think the art style is classic anime, but here there is this extra emphasis on everybody having like some kind of super gym membership in a post-apocalyptic world. Everybody has the same barber. And get themselves that mohawk. All the dudes are like super buff and like V-shaped body size and really long legs and tall and just typical in that hero looking sense that definitely worked for its time. <laughs> Enter hero. Right? Right. Off of watching, I also got a good sense of other franchises that might have been inspired by Fist of the North Star. At least in some way. Did this inspire Mad Max? But here in this video you're going to be seeing me doing, you can say, fan art and drawing the character with a slight twist where I'm putting things from my style into the illustration. As usual stuff like this, so starting off with the pencil, then I go into Sakura Micron inking pens to lay down the inks, and then I go over the whole illustration with carpet markers. My love. Yes. 
you guys will also be able to enjoy my reactions from watching the TV series or parts of the OVA or parts of the animated series sprinkled throughout this video. Well, yeah, I stole all your money in the bank, but you know, here, here is compensation. Let me play you my music. It's like somebody giving you, <laughs> stealing from you, and then giving you that SoundCloud link. <laughs> she still found pink in the post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> Exposition! Yeah, he could have broken out anytime he wanted. Of course. Masaka! Masaka! She just saw him open a cell with his bare hands. I won't tell him the wrong way. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah. A little modernized. Yeah. Yeah, they, they snuck that one in there. I'm sure there was a manga too. Yeah. All the stuff adapted from the manga. <laughs> for the first episode of the TV series, you know, I could kind of see how everything was going to play out for the most part, but as a first episode slash pilot, you know, I think it got the job done very well establishing the world establishing the characters the mystery the backstory i liked it and i can see why it would be a hit especially for its time i do think if it did come out in today's age there will be some slight changes here and there but you know that that's the same with everything that happened with the ova which i believe came out in 2007 yep boss yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even though I haven't seen the live action, I'm pretty sure changes were made there as well. Don't turn your back on me! You're already dead. I think my verdict overall would be, you know, if you're really into anime, especially if you're into anime to a snobby degree, like pinky finger tea sipping degree, then this is vintage, this is a classic, this is like a must watch thing to have on your list. Wait, didn't they rip his shirt off like two seconds ago? Then he got it back on, and then he ripped it again? For those who don't know me, I write and illustrate manga as well. One of my series, Apple Black, is published in Serialized and Saturday AM, which I'm also co-founder of, and then Bakasi in Saturday PM, which is just a more mature version of AM, which I'm also co-founder of. Also check out my social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Every link you possibly need will be in the description below. Enjoy the rest of the illustration, as well as some more clips of my reactions, because I thought some things were just too funny. <laughs> First time she speaks, obviously it has to come at the end of the episode or at the end of something major, at the end of some event. She spoke! Everybody! Ah! Ah, this is this is the infamous line. Oh my, one more. She knew. Nani?
Nah, that kid's a hustler. Facts. Oh, okay. It is. My bad, y'all. What? How did I get there? Come on now. now. I hope you guys have enjoyed my art and iteration of Kanchiro from Fist of the North Star. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to the like button, subscribe button, and hit that bell so you stay notified each time I upload absolutely anything. And then a couple seconds after, let's make those numbers explode! Don't forget to check out the mobile game and what other series would you like to see me experience first? I haven't seen Demon Slayer, Doctor Stone, Promise Neverland, the list goes on. So those are probably things I could see me put together for an installment in this series on the channel.